There's more spring traps. Oh, geez. Lots of spring traps here. There's so many more spring trap locations up ahead as well. There's more. Oh, my God. These springs tearing him apart. He's got one more heal spell. The king is still chasing him. There's more spring traps. Holy cow. He's hit every single spring. Oh, my God. It is Town Hall 10 week in the Rush.GG $25,000 Town Hall Cup. We have 12 spots that have already been filled for the playoffs, and we have four more to go. It's the last qualifier. It's the final two rounds. We have in contention the Queen Walkers in one side, which we'll be diving into in a little bit after we check out this crazy war between fans of Eric and Dark War Top. So cheer on your favorite team, and let's dive right in. The qualifiers are coming down to the wire here. $2,500 for Town Hall 10, $25,000 for the tournament as a whole. We have fans of Eric who did some crazy things in the wars before, and they definitely caught my eye with their team name. So we're showing them some love here today as they take on Dark War Top. There's a lot of pro players over on Dark War Top. You may specifically recognize a couple of them that are not playing right now. <laughs> This is card. <laughs> All right, Kakaroto is making his way in with the Pekka Smash, the double jump to carry the base there. The heal spells to top him off as he makes his way forward. Queen reaches over the wall, pick up the multi inferno. Good initial setup. He needs to cross all the way through to pick up the multi from the far back end of the base there. We'll get the defensive queen engaged here in just a moment. The Pekka's draw her way, and that multi from the backside isn't going to be too much of a problem. For the Pekkas, but a big Tesla farm around it would make it difficult for any hogs to move to the area. The Pekkas on the outside will handle the defensive king. His king and his queen both have their ability attacked here, but he needs something to go pick up the trash on the right side. He's got an archer chilling back there, so maybe that will work. The Pekkas are now attacking the wall to go into the multi inferno. He's got a freeze. Honestly, he should just use that freeze right now because that is the highest damage area of the entire base. He pops it right there, catches the entirety of the Tesla farm, and will pick up this multi inferno as well queen ability and king ability still intact here as fans of eric are looking like if they can get this inferno down he's gone okay he's got it he's got it he's got it if he gets the tesla he's got it even better there there we go picks up the triple right out of the gate there fans of eric is op representing me and they even put my picture as their as their mascot on the or their uh their clan symbol whatever the the, the logo let's turn it they put my picture as their clan logo so <laughs> It's hilarious, but he's going with a queen charge and a Lalo to follow up afterwards. And I have to remind people that we are playing in a Town Hall 10 only tournament, which means they are not allowed to receive donations from anything other than Town Hall 10s in these level one clans. That, as a result, makes so that they are not allowed to use any siege machines. Very, very, very important to take note of that because siege machines make Town Hall 10 really easy and... Without them, Tile 10 becomes one of the hardest formats in all of Clash of Clans. He does have his queen that's attacking the wall to go north of the base here. She needs to turn back around and go over to this multi-inferno because it's, me it's messing up her healers. I think she's going to have enough HP to pull through and pick it out a little bit later, especially if he gets that expo down. And so the queen can potentially turn back around and make her way over to it. Now she does. Lost all of her healers in the meantime, but she can pop her ability. And she can take that Inferno down, or she can just wait and maybe get her ability to pick up a Wizard Tower on the backside as well. But this one is looking like it's going to go through. These guys are good. These guys are really good. I don't know who they are. They're clearly fans of the channel. And you guys, you should be too. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, all right? And also, go subscribe to my, U my new YouTube channel. I'll put a link for it in the description. It's not always Clash stuff. It's a little bit of everything. Just whatever I feel like talking about. <laughs> it's a good time. Show some love to that and drop me a sub over there and check out the videos. All right, GG, Kit Kat picks up a second triple. Kevin coming in for Dark War Top, using some lightning to take out the defensive queen. Picks up an air defense at the same time. Also grabbed out a wizard tower. We got another live attack. We'll see how this one goes and then we'll bounce over if necessary. But Dark War Top is a very, very good team and. We can definitely see either of these teams being very competitive in the playoffs. If they can make it, they have to survive this round and they have to survive one more round after it. Queen making her way down to this bottom air defense, but that means he's going to leave up the center air defense and the top air defense as well. So kind of an interesting choice on which air defenses he left up here. I thought he would go into the air defense at the top side with there with the queen so it could break the ring of defense by taking out like the air defense up there, the arch tower, 
Maybe even wall breaking into the expo up there. It would have set up some really nice pathing. But now he's got to deal with a dragon and a witch. And he has the town hall over on the far right side of the base here. So if the dragon causes too many problems, then that's going to be a big, big problem for him. He'll freeze up the defensive dragon inside of the poison. Let the baby dragon fight it. And then make his way through on the right side of the base with another hound deployed over there. But the single photo is burning up these lava hounds pretty quickly. Hitting some black bombs and radar bombs as he moves through the middle. He'll get this uh, town hall area secured here if he's going to get the cleanup down. He'll get the expo out of the way. Got the inferno out of the way here. Fighting the sweeper a little bit. He's okay right now, though. He's still moving strong. He's got a lot of balloons, and they're all a very good HP coming off of that heal spell. And as soon as he comes out of it, then rage them up. So they move forward very quickly into the last couple defenses. I think he might have it. He's got the cleanup over on the right side already working. He does have a lot of balloons going out of the base, out to the bottom mortar. And that's why we don't like to leave any straggling defenses on these bases because now that is going to make a slow approach here without the support of the other troops that were in the areas. These balloons make their final approach, but there are a lot of balloons here. So he still has a chance. Only a single inferno and a couple of tests to power through. Got some cleanup work in. Plenty of cleanup to finish off the rest of the cleanup if he can survive this. Come on, get this Inferno, get this Inferno. Oh, 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 he's gonna fall. Oh, wait, I don't know yet. Get that uh, Inferno down. Go to the test, he's got two balloons left. Come on, pull it through the triple. Oh, that was close. Holy close. He's got one balloon at half HP. It's the sole survivor along with his cleanup troops to finish off the base. Got to the defensive king and he's got the triple. And this war is all triple so far. While that was going on, looks like we had another attack on the side here. Another triple out of fans of Eric, but we're live again in from Dark War Top. We've got ourselves a P.E.K.K.A. Smash with some lightning to set it up here. He's going to use the lightning to form the funnel for the queen. What did he get out of that? Looks like he took out an Inferno, and he also got an Archer Tower out of it. So not a crazy amount of value. Maybe he could have picked up the Mortar on the right side as well if he would have positioned his lightning just a little bit better. If you guys don't know, then the... The radius of lightning, if you follow the footprint of top right here, you can hit a 5x4, and he could have spanned the distance there. A little bit risky, as you can see the squares are yellow, so it's not guaranteed, but I think it's close enough that I can consistently get it there. But he didn't want to risk it. He wanted to make sure he got that Inferno and air defense down, and set up his main push to go in from the left side of the base here through the defensive dragon and defensive witch. He's got the healers on his forward group there. King along the outside of the base there gets smoked after he pops his ability. And the Barbarians will try to finish a little bit more funnel out there. Need some extra support across the top of the base there. But he's only got some archers, minions, and a baby dragon. So he can't do that until he gets the air defense down up there. But the Barbarians will keep on working. The Witches are out there. So if he gets the multi-inferno under control, then he's got that under control. He'll get this inferno down. Get some nice bullet bounces. Healers are staying safe. Bullets split up north there. Pick up the air defense. And now we can safely put that baby dragon somewhere. Although, where do you put it here? He did secure the town hall early as it was exposed on the far right side. He gets an archer down on the right side as well with a minion as well to start to work on the back end cleanup here. But he's still got the pathing that needs to be corrected by the witches working through the middle base here. The peck has opened up the pathing to go into the core. That was perfect. Peck is attacking the right wall there. Witches swarming on the outside, keeping those barbarians alive that are still alive from the king ability, giving him plenty of outside support here. Blue's coming on the far left side to go pick up the mortar. We got the healers alive and moving. A minute and ten seconds left on the clock here. Looking pretty solid. He has the witches and the barbarians searching around the corner there after they take out the defenses across the top edge of the base. So the queen is going to help reach across the walls here and get some of these Teslas down, which will help the witches on the outside. The skeletons are wrapping around the wall here, and those witches are overwhelming the Teslas on the backside. He's got a queen ability. We have five triples in this war so far, which is insane. Town Hall 10 is insane incredibly difficult but these guys are very very proficient at town hall 10 apparently and they are cleaning house another triple on the board let me check on the queen walkers war real quick nairomi making his way in for the queen walkers team here nairomi is the leader of gs and it looks like he's driving a big kill squad and then sweeping around with hog riders he's got three heal spells looks like he's got it under control here this should be a triple without a problem. Let's see, it's a whole bunch of spring traps. Ugh, I see that. And then spring traps pop. Ooh, giant bomb. Okay, he's got the king chasing him. Oh, that's, a, that's a scary push here for hogs. There's more spring traps. Oh, geez. Lots of spring traps here. There's so many more spring trap locations up ahead as well. There's more. Oh, my God. These springs tearing him apart. He's got one more heal spell. The king is still chasing him. There's more spring traps. 
Holy cow, he's hit every single spring. Oh my god! <laughs> oh jeez! The springs! Shot him down! Naromi with the miss! Oh, rip the dream. Okay, okay, okay. We'll come back and check those again in a minute, but just wanted to check over here and see what's going on with the Queen Walker's War. <laughs> Oh, that was that was painful to watch. Coming in next will be Roseberry with a queen charge into miners. All right, so far every single person in this war is perfect. So trust their judgment and let's see if we can get it done. The queen charge miner attack does require that the queen charge in and remove a full quadrant of the base. So if you think about the base split into four even quadrants, the queen needs to remove one full quadrant while she also takes out the defensive CC. He does get her to take the wall break. She'll step her way through. So she needs to punch her way all the way to the middle of the base there. What that does is make so that if you put the king to the other side of the funnel, then he's able to get a lane for the miners that is the width of a heal spell. That is always the goal with a queen charge miner attack. And this funnel is very, very clean here. Not only to get the queen inside the, the base there initially, but then keep the lane tight for the miners so that every single one of the miners can be hit by every single tick of that heal spell. He's gonna get the bomb tower as well. A nice extra bonus. And he got the CC down without any issues at all. He's gonna start the miners in from the right side and. Make sure he secures the town hall nice and early. The king goes to the outside with the wizard out there. He's got the additional miners inside of his CC that were deployed with him. He's got a wall break to get the queen to transition, but she goes the wrong way. She may end up getting forced back that direction eventually. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see where she goes. But he's got the first heal spell that he needs to get down as he goes into the wizard tower and the multi inferno. There we go. There was the first heal. Good placement of that. All the. Miners on the outside that are not inside of the heal spell are getting the tanking provided by the miners that are inside of the heal spell and the king on the outside of the base. King will pop his ability out there. If he gets that bomb tower down, he saves the heal spell for the miners as they make their way to the multi inferno. He does pick it up there. Miners make their way to the multi. There's the other heal spell. Queen in the middle of the base. Roseberry looking good at this one and he's time efficient right now as well, but he is getting distracted with a lot of his miners at this uh, defensive king as he makes his way into the multi inferno. He hits a giant bomb. Wizard Tower plus the multi inferno damage plus the giant bomb damage overwhelms those miners. The Queen pops her ability, powers through the wall, picks up the bomb tower on the backside of the base. And with the blue now coming down to support, he'll have a little bit of protection for these miners. They'll search into the last couple defenses. And fans of Eric picking up a fourth triple. The go for the perfect war. Let's go. GG, guys. These guys are good. These guys are really good. I, I don't know where they've been hiding the whole time. But I'm a fan of fans of Eric. Returning fire for Dark War top will be Jonah. It's like a single defense right now could determine the war. At this level of offense, both teams are playing top tier right now. But a trip on the board already, obviously, holds a lot of power in this tournament. He's going to make his way in with the queen, go in towards the defensive king. Queen will be able to be reached over the wall once he gets inside. He can reach one bomb tower. King will come in down the line to funnel the queen into the base. And make sure this queen does actually take the turn and take some of the defenses down the line there with a couple archers down south there. They'd like to see a wizard join with the king out there, but needs the wizards for the cleanup. And he doesn't actually have a lot of cleanup here. He, he only has a couple wizards, goblins. That's it. I'm a little bit worried about the cleanup here if he doesn't... See, I mean, <laughs> look at the town hall up at the top of the base there. Like, if he doesn't get into this inferno up at the top of the base here, then the cleanup is going to be very, very difficult because he has to have one wizard to reach in there and secure the town hall takedown. He puts in a giant to tank the wizard tower so the hogs don't need a heal spell initially. They're going to make their way in quickly into that wizard tower. The hogs will jump the wall while the wizard tower continues to strike at the giant behind them. Tess is popping near the town hall as the queen makes her approach towards the defensive queen. She's inside of a rage right now. She'll get the bomb tower before she switches targets, keeping the hogs safe as they cross through. He's got one more heal spell. He's going to need to get that one onto the other bomb tower, but he is deployed a little bit early as he's hitting some giant bombs inside the town hall compartment. Lots of incoming damage up there. The queen is going to have to go through a wall. He needs to get that inferno down. 
Palm Tower is looming over there. He's going to have the Hogs make their way away from it, though. Queen still has their ability. If the Hogs can clear out the left side here, the Queen can pop her ability and get the Expo, Inferno, and Bomb Tower down. But I'm a little bit skeptical. He does get the Hogs to... Well, the Hogs die out. The Wizards step into the Town Hall, though. He's able to get the Queen to stay alive here. Well, she's got enough push to take the rest of the base. So he's got a minute, though. He's got a lot of time to work with. So he's got a chance. Don't count him out just yet. It'll take him a moment to get through the wall, but the queen is never going to get overwhelmed. He's got the cleanup down behind. Losing healers right now, though. Giant circling around. How much health does that giant have? It's still full HP. Queen is going to start attacking the wall now, but all of her healers are gone. Oh, this is going to be really close here. The giant is moving into tanking position. The queen, what in the world? Okay, I thought she wasn't attacking the intersection. I thought she was attacking the wall to the right. But no, she's going into the compartment that she needs to go into. But I think if he gets the queen to survive, at best, it is going to be a time fail. As to storage up top, stay standing. The queen try to do her best here to close it out here. But I need the hogs to go just a little bit further. In witches, we trust. <laughs> Dark War Top is doing this for me. You know he is. He's going to throw the witches at the town hall here. He's got a couple hogs from the back end of the base here. He's got rages. He's got heal spells. And of course, he's got to bring the jump spells to make so that the witches have a chance to give access into the base here. You got to have the jump spells because you don't have access to siege machines. And this only works potentially against a base with single infernos on it. So the king will search his way forward. He's got the rage with the bowlers. The bowlers are going to get the benefit from the rage there, which is huge. He's got the golems there, lead the charge there. The bullet bounces quickly sweeping through that entire section of base, making this wave of troops move very quickly into the back end. He's got witches strong on both flanks there, but the skeletons on both sides end up attacking the wall, and he ends up going inside of the base there towards the bomb tower. Come on, make it through those bomb towers. Don't lose those witches. Don't lose each other flank. Left flank is solid. Makes it through there. Queen locks out of the single. Able to get through that without her ability. He's got a golem up there ahead of the queen tanking, giving her some good support. She needs to get around there through the jump spell before the jump fades. He's losing a lot on his right flank, though. Queen does make it through the jump spell in time. Witches are going back through another wall on the far left side. His left flank is so strong. Tons of witches are sweeping around. The queen still has her ability. As long as she doesn't get distracted by the defensive king and her ability carries through the single, he should be able to pull through. But she's attacking a wall. Queen, go attack the single. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Come on, queen. You're killing me here. You're killing me. All right. Well, single for them might be a problem. He's got a lot of time left here, though. And I think he pulls through. So in Witches We Trust was the correct statement for this war, guys. This one is going through unless he hits a giant bomb. Ah, there goes that witch. <laughs> All right, come on. Hold it in there. Don't hit another giant bomb. Don't hit another giant bomb. Please, no giant bomb right here. Please, no giant bomb. Save it. Save it. Witches, you're okay. You're okay. Three witches are left. Mortar's taking out a lot of these skeletons, though. Get the cannon down. Swarm the mortar, please. He's got witches dropping some skeletons from the inside of the base. They're giving some distraction. Oh, come on. Come on, witches. Come on, witches. You've got this. You're so beautiful. I love you so much. Just get through. Get the wall attacked. Okay. He's going to overwhelm the single, baby. He's attacking the storage first, though. The skeletons are attacking the wall ahead of the witches. They're staying alive. Skeletons are taking. I think he's got it. Come on, witches. Power through. Attacking the wall here. 30 seconds. He's got plenty of time here. Why are you attacking that wall, witches? Just keep spawning. Just keep spawning. Just keep spawning. There we go. We're through. We're through. Oh, baby. It's a trap. Press the wrong button. I, I don't know what I pressed there. I pressed the wrong button, but he's got it. Witches pull through. <laughs> I'm over here pressing all the wrong buttons. Don't worry about me. We got ourselves a one star gap. 93% is the only miss of the war right now. I was trying to hit confetti, but I forgot my confetti button was broken. <laughs> here we go. Kush is live. Fans of Eric need a 94% or higher to move on to the last round of the last open qualifier. The other team is live at the same time. And this last exchange decides the war. Pekka spam. 
Love to see some P.E.K.K.A.s, mass P.E.K.K.A.s with the jump spells. He's brought in multiple heal spells that can help him power through these multi-infernos, but a lot of the P.E.K.K.A.s are off to the left side. He can use the jump spell to correct them back into the base there, and look at that. They're walking right in. He's got a balloon that was above the skeletons, and he's got, what is that, golem on the ground there? Yeah, a golem on the ground. He'll freeze up the defensive queen as he makes his way in there with the P.E.K.K.A. leading the charge there. The P.E.K.K.A. locks on. We'll take the defensive queen out here. His queen right behind. And with that defensive queen out of the way here, he's in a good spot here. Still got Pekka's out on the right flank here. Wizard's working with the Pekka's out there. He's got Pekka's in the inside on the right, attacking the walls. And his queen is getting the tanking that is being provided on both ends. Bowler sweep across the expo in the middle of the base there. The queen is going to go finish out there as the bullets get sniped off. Lots of Pekka's on the left side. Lots of force on the top side as well. And Kush is able to pick up the perfect war. Guys, this might be the only perfect war of this entire competition and we were able to witness it and it was none other than fans of eric who pulled it off i could not be more proud congratulations guys you're moving on to the last round you're one away for the playoffs to continue to play for that 2500 dollars town hall 10 prize we got another attack on the other side here that this one is falling apart here so not only are they picking up the triples they're also picking up the big defenses gg guys but we're not done yet because the queen walkers are still underway so let's bounce over to the other side klaus stars and chichin all live at the same time they need two triples to lock in their victory let's see klaus make his way in with a sui hero lalo baby dragon on the bottom side with both of the infernos next to the town hall a single inferno and a multi inferno he's gonna be Looking to dive into the multi-inferno. If we can get the funnel secured on the left side here. If we can get the defensive queen out of the way there. Uh, he's not going to actually take the queen with the... With his queen. I think he's going to use that skeleton spell to take her out. But he needs to get this air defense. And he needs to get the multi-inferno. To be able to set up the pathing that he needs. He tried to wall break it. The king luckily attacks the wall. Where the wall breakers fell short. He does quickly break it open there. I like what he did there. Just using the queen to clear out all the trash along the top of the base there while he got the funnel form to the other side there. Wall break the king in to go pick that up there. And the queen will reach down along the left side of the base there and end up picking up that air defense. And she will drop after that. He got a partial CC pull here. Just a couple of archers come out of there. No heavier troops just yet. Not to handle that on the fly here. He's got the skeleton spell for that area of the base there. He's got a double poison to handle whatever comes out. His lava hounds are tanking all the air skellies and these archers, and the lava buffs shouldn't be able to handle that. But he needs to see what comes out of there. Baby dragon and a witch out of the defensive CC. Got the poison down on the baby dragon. Witch is stepping into the poison. Okay, they're anchored down. They're holding still. Baby dragon steps out of the poison, though. That's a problem. Oh, come on, Klaus. Come on, Klaus. Come on, Klaus. How do the hound pops? So I'll give him some extra support in the area. We'd like to see the rage in the area. There's the skeleton spell and the poison on top of the defensive queen. Rage up those skeletons, but the baby dragon is still chasing him down. I'll get that defensive queen out of the way here with the skeletons. Able to handle that, but this baby dragon has defended the expo. And it's going to be a struggle to get back. The queen survives as well. Klaus falls short. Let's dive in the next one. Come on over here. Let's see stars. Stars is still alive. Stars is still alive. Stars has the triple with the witches. That's huge. That's huge. But the other one has to determine it. It's over. It's over. They got it. Two triples on the board there. Who was it? It was Chichen. And Stars carried them to victory. And the Queen Walkers will also advance to the final round.